So I've connected to net through the iPhone. So here we have some NGPs for you. And uh, so this is the case one. A seven years old patient presents with sinuses on exertion. And if you see the NGO, and you have to tell me the catheter course, the diagnosis, and the management. Catheter course, diagnosis, and management. Seven years old child with uh, a little bit of sinuses and dyspnea on exertion. Am I audible? T to RA to LV, then. So, okay. That's right. So, so what's the final diagnosis? Yes. So, how will you treat this patient? Is intact IVS. So, it is a corrected congenital uh, transfusion of arteries. I mean, congenitally corrected transfusion of arteries. And uh, seven years old child with mild sinuses and dyspnea exertion. So, DSO double switch, then what will you repair for the double switch? Yeah, but another point, another part of the diagnosis is this, not only valvular PS, it is subvalvular PS. And you should understand that uh, the uh, pulmonary artery is uh, posterior in this scenario. So, what do you do exactly? Not double switch, other than that, you do something else. Not a plain double switch. If there is a PS, you need to do something else. Yes. That's good. So good answers from everyone. So we move on to the next phase. So seven month old cyanotic infant. And that's the NGO. So what's the catheter course? And what are the findings from this particular engine? What sort of NGO is this? Any answers? Are you being able to see a uh, reverse pulmonary venous phage angiogram? That's right. So what else can you see there? Actually, I think there is a latent period. This is the So everyone answers the same thing. You try and all of the people who are present today, please try to see if someone has answered something. Don't answer the same thing again. I mean, if you can. OK, so what's the catheter course now? Anyone catheter course and what else can you see? I think if there are a lot of students, then the, this thing becomes very easy. Only one or two of them doesn't make it very interesting. Am I offline? Huh? Online, do? Yeah. Is it 
Anyone, please, what is the catheter course? Where is the catheter coming from? Where? So if there is no one to answer, then it is reverse uh, pulmonary venous raised pressure showing uh, good size air to good size branch pulmonary arteries. And the catheter course, if you see, it is coming from a left sided IVC. And through the atrium via the atrial communication into the pulmonary vein. So this is the situs inverses, situs inverses with pulmonary venous angiogram, raised angiogram. Move on to the next case. Okay, four years old child with history of failure to thrive and LRTI, presents with minimal sinuses and improvement in symptoms for the last five months. Four years old child with history of failure to thrive in LRTI presents with minimal sinuses and improvement in symptoms for the last five months. And here is the NGO. I don't think anyone is there. Eh? Type 1 truncus. Uh, no, not truncus. Just see carefully. You have a separate aortic injection which is filling up something else. PDA, okay. Can't agree to that as well. It's a descending aorta injection. These are basically a lot of map cars, collaterals, and supplying huge branch pulmonary arteries. And it is pulmonary atresia. So it's a map cars filling branch pulmonary arteries. And you can see in such a four years old child, these are at systemic pressures. But going with the size of them, and uh, the size of the branch pulmonary arteries are actually uh, quite huge. So this patient is basically uh, isolated. So you cannot do any anything to help them. So four years old child, pulmonary atresia with hypertensive map cars. Next case, adolescent uh, female referred for the evaluation of murmur. Yeah. So these I needed some answers from someone. Okay, hello. Next findings. Elongation of LVOT. Okay, LV NGO. Is it a VSD or something else? Goose neck deformity. Okay. Is the shunt a VSD or something else? Where is the dye going from the LV2? Is it filling the LV2 RHZ? Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So that is the LV, the jet is going and filling up the right atrium. Okay, three year old child with minimal sinuses.
This is the NG of the same child. NG of the same child. So if this is hemitrunkus, then what is this? No, actually this child is suffering from something called, any more guesses? Okay, so it is top absent pulmonary valve. You can see the constricted annulus and you can see the huge RPA. And the LPA, this is the LPA which is arising from the aorta. Uh, the restrictive PDA. So the LPA size you see is normal because it is supplied by restricted PDA from the aorta. And the RPA size is part of absent pulmonary valve syndrome. So the RPA is huge. So this is a very good case in sense of decision making because uh, one PA is very small. It's like almost landing up, going to land up in a single lung repair. And the LPA is quite distant from the RPA, so it might not be possible to unifocalize them. So this is, this might, they might go into a little bit of differential circulation in both the lungs. Next patient, five month old infant with excessive cry. Yeah, diagnosis. If I don't get a diagnosis within two seconds, then uh, very good, excellent. Then I was supposed to say that I will end the discussion. Very good. So, echo findings are to suspect. All right, everyone answered correctly. Uh, reverse flow in MPA. All right. And management is, of course, surgery. Now, so seven years old child with increase in sinuses. All right. I say any any guess in this diagnosis? Child has been child has been operated for a single ventricle line of repair. You have tell me the name of the operation. Excellent. I'm really proud of you. Great, great, great. So what's the catheter course? What's the catheter course? What is the catheter course, friends? And why is the patient having increased sinuses? Why is the patient having increased sinuses? Look at the angio properly. Hepatic veins may not be. Uh, PAVMs in, yeah, that's the correct answer. So, it, through which lung? 
which lung you suspect more? PAVMs. Excellent. Good. That's great. 15 days neonate taken for ductal stenting. Okay. Oh, someone asked why right lung? Because you can see if I go to the, okay, I'll go to the previous NG to answer that question. Sorry, the net is probably slow. That's why it is reaching a bit late. I'll answer that question. Why right? See this NGO. Compare the right lung with the left lung. See the right lung, right pulmonary veins. Immediately filling up. Right? That's why. Okay, now this one. This is the first change view. Second, and this is actually the NG which you should answer. And this is the, yeah. So I'll play mainly concentrate on this NG. I'll make it bigger. Okay, look at this. So what is it? Any any guess? Yeah, non conference branch PAs. What else? Uh, PDA supplying PA. So, can you define more on the PD, PDA? It's basically double vertical ductus and supplying the individual branch PAs. Okay, two years old with failure to thrive. Recurrent LRTI, failure to thrive. Quick answers, please. Very easy. And use epi window. Excellent. So this epi window, what will be your uh, mode of uh, treatment line? In this particular way, two years old, about uh, 10 kgs soil. What will be your mode of treatment? Anyone? Okay, so what we did, if you don't have any options, what we did is someone says cat for PA pressure can be device closed. Yes, so what we did was we closed it with the device. Very good. Okay. 28 years old female presence with palpitation. CCF. Yeah. What is the diagnosis? Why the patient is in CCF? Acute onset. 
acute onset ar no see carefully see the aortic valve properly no it's not a coronary gamblar fistula rsv that's right rsv2 ruptured to which chamber of the heart You can very clearly see this, which chamber of the heart. And then finally, what is filling up? Finally, what is filling up? Yes. Okay. Good. So, four months old presence in collapse state. post cardiac surgery post cardiac surgery patient after a few months of surgery presents very acute in acute state Excellent. Block left position. Or any anything else you want to say? Block left position. You can't see something here. So what is it? Blocked some adjective behind left position. Guys, wake up. Uh, so it's a classical, you will never come to the right answer, no? always beat around the bush. <laughs> so it's a blocked classical left bit descent, right. Three days old presents with sinuses. So, yeah, so quick, quick, quick answers. What is the wire course diagnosis? Quick answers, please. So what is the procedure being done? B A V. Why? Ah, correct. That is B P V. How can it be B A V? And so we cross retrograde via the P D A, and then we perforate the pulmonary valve and dilate the and do a B P V. Okay. Six years old child being followed up at pediatric cardiac clinic. And this is what you see. So what is it and what is the definition of what you say the answer is? Yes, so what is it? This Kawasaki, coronary aneurysm, KD aneurysm, all right, but what do you think is the diagnosis in this? Hmm. 
Mm. Any more adjectives to this? It's quite big. By eco measurements and by NGO measurements, this was a giant aneurysm. Okay. So, how do you manage these children? Only aspirin? I don't think so. It's not only aspirin. Anticoagulation and antiplatelet. That's all right. Now, five year old. Sorry, sorry, 57 years old. Uh, status post. CABG. What is this you think is so? It is. Any idea, anyone? Status post CABG in adult patient presents with a swelling, substandal swelling, retrosternal swelling. Surgeons are very scared to touch that. What is the possible diagnosis? Anyone? Pseudoaneurysm. That's very good. So how will you treat these patients? Because see, these are the sternal wires. And the pseudoaneurysm is just below the sternal wire. So if they do, if the surgeons go and do a reduced sternotomy, they will immediately rupture this and the patient will bleed to death. Right? So what is the best way you can manage these patients? Endovascular graft, yes, you can do that. Or you can just close them with a simple device. See, and the whole thing is blocked. This particular patient has fantastic um, CT images. I could have showed you, but this is not the scope of this class. Okay, six year old with sinuses and clubbing with no murmur. All right. Yeah, diagnosis. Quick diagnosis. Price for whoever diagnosis first. Very easy. Why tricuspid atresia? No price for you. Wrong answer. No, it's not Eisenmenger. Come on. What? Think of the catheter course first. You will be able to come to a diagnosis. Let me give you a clue. So sometime in the catheter course, there was pulmonary artery. Now, the student who has answered trichospiratrice, I would ask her, that why do you think this is trichospiratrice? What is the reason? Someone told trichospiratrice, can you please explain me why it is trichospiratrice? I think it's very it's right, it is not possible. This is pulmonary AV fistula, AV malformation. You can see the catheter is going via the IVC, RA, RV, PA, and then getting injected into the distal PA, and you can see all these A malformations filling up. I don't know, someone said Eisenminger, someone said Trichospiratricia, LPA to LA fistula. No. This is typical picture of pulmonary AV malformation. And these are very difficult to treat. 
so this patient basically had loads of coils in her chest and now you can see all this muck is gone it has been blocked okay this is the last angio yeah you have to answer this this is about 8 9 years old child with absolutely uh, normal cardiac anatomy but on a routine echo but severely cyanosed severely cyanosed Anyone, please guess. Eight years old child with severe cyanosis with normal intracardiac anatomy by routine echo. RP daily fistula. Okay. Thank you so much. That was a good diagnosis. Thank you all. And see you sometime later on.